How's it going everyone? It's Grizzly Nina and today I drew the pirate I created in the video game Sea of Thieves. You guys know I love pirates, so I'm really excited to finally play Sea of Thieves on Steam. I know it's an older game, but it's brand new to me, so it's super fun. The character selection process was a lot of fun too. I spent so much time narrowing down what kind of pirate I wanted and ended up landing on this girl because she has like this cool ghost eye. And as I got further in the game, I got to change up her look a, bit, a little bit and I made sure to add some black face makeup over her ghost eye to really accentuate it. Um, this game's art style is so inspiring and I couldn't wait to draw my pirate girl for you all. So here I'll put a little picture of what my pirate looks like in game so that you guys can know what I was looking at while I was drawing. Hats are super hard to draw. I feel like everybody has trouble with them and I especially have a hard time with pirate hats because even though they are round, they also have like these different planes of field and points um, so you have to find a balance between the roundness and the pointiness and the sides uh, it's tricky but I feel like I got got it down a little bit better once I started adding color to this hat When I first started out this drawing, I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep this all in pencil and play around with the cross hatching and the shading, uh, but then I remembered I have those brand new Ahuhu markers that I really haven't had time to play with yet. So you see me flounder a little bit as I'm sketching, trying to decide what to do, but then in the end, I decide to do my colors and you'll see that at the end of the video. I always hate inking and outlining, but I had a little bit more fun with this artwork by letting myself go in with the fine point pen and adding back in some of those cross hatching marks that I love to draw with pencil. So I hope you guys like how it turns out. I love laying down warm and cool colors before I put a skin color on top of a character. So you'll see me add a lot of pinks and purples to this person before I add her peachish skin tone. Um, I also wanted to kind of push the shadows a little bit more. So I add in some browns into the shadows too to keep her warm, um, but to really play with the light in this piece. After I finished building up the layers in her hat, um, I was really liking the way she was turning out, so I wanted to give her a background. I don't usually work with backgrounds too much when I'm doing a simple character piece like this, um, so I just gave her a dark blue background that could either be the sky or the sea, um, and made sure to pop her face and her shoulders out with that yellow moon or sun in the background too. And then I actually played around a little bit with the transparent marker to see if I could get the lines of the yellow and the blue to blur a little bit into a hazy green. I don't think I got to them quite fast enough, um, but it was still fun to test out. There she is, my spooky pirate lady. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have played Sea of Thieves. Give me some tips and tricks. I almost got eaten by a kraken yesterday, but I made it out. <laughs> that was super exciting. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.